Hello, this is The Water Doctor, and we're going to talk about deionization systems, or DI systems. Essentially, if you're looking for a DI system, you probably already know that deionization simply means that the water is totally demineralized. And we do that through the use of what's called an anion and cation resin. It's a resin that's in a tank or a cartridge that totally demineralizes the water, takes out the calcium, magnesium, chloride, sulfates, carbonates, bicarbonates. Effectively, you come up with water that is just that, just water. If you have an aquarium that you're just using a few gallons a day, they make DI cartridges that are simply the answer for that. If you use it as the primary demineralization method, you can often expect to pay anywhere between 25 cents and 50 cents a gallon for that deionized water, even if you produce it yourself. That's what the cartridges will cost if you replace them. You use reverse osmosis as the primary demineralization method. It takes out 95 to 98 percent of the total dissolved solids, and then the DI only has to take out the remainder, which is very small, very insignificant. What ends up happening is your DI water cost may go from 40 cents a gallon down to one or two cents a gallon. If you're using just a few gallons a day, it's not a big deal. But if you're a business such as laser jet cutting or manufacturing that needs reverse osmosis and you're using several thousand gallons of water a day, it can be very significant if you're using DI as the primary demineralization method. We recently replaced a DI system in a factory that their cost per year was $78,000 for changing out their DI tanks. We installed a reverse osmosis system ahead of the DI system. And what's going to happen now is the reverse osmosis system cost them $30,000. It's a very large reverse osmosis system with a 2,000 gallon storage tank. It cost about $30,000 to install it in the factory. But their yearly DI costs now are below $6,000. So the first year they saved they, you know, they save double the amount that they were spending, and every year after, they're saving dramatic amounts of money. So that's the big reason. If you're going to use DI, and you're using any significant amount of water at all per day, you need to have a reverse osmosis system ahead of it to remove the majority of the minerals so that the DI can be much cheaper to operate. It used to be that reverse osmosis systems were very wasteful you might waste three to four gallons of water for every gallon of water that you made. Now it's the reverse. If you make a gallon of water, you may waste only a quarter of a gallon of water. That, that's a huge cost savings with the new reverse osmosis systems. And you can certainly afford to waste a quarter of a gallon for every gallon of water that you make if you can cut your DI cost as dramatically as we talked about.